okay then we'll start uh, the designing <coughs> so this is what the microstrip antenna we are going to design which is published in mdpi micromechanics so yeah if you remember in our previous videos we have designed a single element of this microstrip antenna if you can see it here so this is what we have designed in our earlier uh, video you can see that one in our channel so now we'll design this micro strip structure which is having defected ground for uh, uh, working on the mutual coupling between the individual elements and these are the four elements so yeah uh, we'll start our design we'll go into the modeling first then we'll first try to design our substrate which is fr4 we will load it from here go to the load library select here fr hyphen 4 we have to consider always lossy <coughs> so what will be the width it will be width of the substrate by 2 the width of the substrate by 2 half will go in negative half will go in positive and yeah this will be minus length of the substrate by 2 to length of the substrate by 2 it will be again minus hs minus height in the negative direction so yeah width of the substrate is 58 mm length of the substrate is 60 mm and height is 1.6 mm so yeah click on okay now you can see here our substrate is designed as we are seeing this snake we can hide it from here <coughs> so yes now if you see here now we will focus on only single element designing so first we will design this feed okay so go to the modeling select this we will name it here as a feed width will be again minus width of the feed by 2 to width of the feed by 2 length will let it go from 0 to length of the feed lf height will be again 0 to hc change material to pc <coughs> as we know so width of the feed we are having is 2.82 mm length of the feed is 7.07 mm <coughs> and height is always 0.035 all this calculation you can see it from this paper okay so yeah then click on OK. You can see here it is correctly designed properly with some height. Now we will design the patch. So select again the brick here. We will rename as a patch. Width will be again minus width of the patch by two to width of the patch by two. Okay. So yeah, length starting point will be length of the feed to length of the feed plus length of the patch. This will be height of the conductor. Cross check the material need to be PEC. Okay. Click on preview. Width of the patch is 19 mm, 19.15 mm. Length is for 24 mm. Click on OK. Yeah. Let it go outside. No worry because we are going to rotate this so once we rotate this this outer portion will come inside <coughs> so yes okay if you see in this image there are some chamfering is done at the edge of this one and this one so we'll try to do that first so for chamfering, select this edge by pressing E from the keyboard, double click on this edge. Come here, bend called chamfer. So we'll give first variable as a C1, that is chamfering for the right side, okay? Which is 8.5 mm. Okay, you can see here. Now the chamfering from the second edge, this will be c2 the value of c2 is 7.8 mm yeah now as you can see here 
uh, <clears throat> it is very much difficult for us to calculate this chamfering how much we need to do because they have given l2 and l3 length but directly if you have to identify that is very much difficult for us to do that so uh, i have tried here some of the way to do so by some iteration i came to know that the chamfering value is coming around 7.8 and 8.5 so from there i got this one so now as here you can see it is quite somewhat offset so what we have to make we have to translate these at the center of this so for that case what you have to do you have to select the center point of this patch and the center point of this field okay first point you need to select of the patch then the field and you need to translate okay so translate keep a copy of it so now you can see it is exactly matching over there so yeah chamfering over here is been done now you can see here there is some rounding things are there again we need to come here select this edge now we need to give the circular bend so for that you can select both the edges same time come here bend this time we have to give the bend edge somewhat circular one so yeah here we can give a parameter called r underscore bend okay and the value is seven this is again i made a parametric variation I, and i got the value at seven <clears throat> if you change the value you will get some other results but your tunability is there you can tune that uh, r value and get some resonance so yeah this is also done now there is chamfering at feed location also you can see here if you see this is also needs to be get bended so yeah both bending what i did i did at same time what i'm doing is at same time because this value is same so i'm going to use here name as a champ click on okay the value of this is 1.5 mm okay so yeah now you can see it has been properly done you can see see here how to get analyze the work that is also very much important thing as we can zoom in here you can see here a triangle shape is there means there is no width in this axis right means uh, a paper in the paper they won't give you that values but what you have to do then i can give some chamfer value of one then i can see the result if i give here one you can see what will be the result if i give the value as a one you can see here some width is left out but if you see in the image it it is not there okay so like that way you can optimize this one and come for a solution like a single uh, width will not be there so that type of parametric analysis you can do for getting proper uh, structures right in the paper it is very much difficult for us to uh, identify each and every parameters so at the initial stage give some value try to make parametric and give the proper value but as i already did it here so i, I know all the parameter what are the values of it. okay so yeah this two part is done now uh, one thing we can do we can unite these two also okay right click and uh, operation is not here it is here boolean add okay so yes this is done now we have to create a slot so for creating a slot before that we'll create a rectangular thing first we'll create create a slot for left side okay so yeah x will be x x will be our length so we'll start it from zero to l underscore slot underscore l which is left hand side both slots are having different length if you see here both slots are having different lengths l4 l5 l6 l7 that's what we'll go for 0 underscore l 0 to l underscore slot underscore l and y it will be width okay which is w underscore slot underscore l l corresponds to left hand side slot okay this is for my convenience we can also use some other parameter also as you know so yes uh, what is the slot length it is nine and width for both the slots are same okay click on okay now somewhere here we got it okay yeah so now what we have to do is this slots is at what location you can see here at this age 
okay so what you can do here is you can select this point okay point of this strip which we are going to subtract because for slot so select the top point of it first then select the top point over here and select this by double clicking use the operation called translate now you can see here directly from here to here it is going to go then click on no no need to copy it click on okay okay one more thing i will uh, want you to be smarter here is as we know this slot plays very important role in the optimizing the resonance you can move these slots and try to get exact location so what we can do for that is select that slot by control t translate operation give here some variable like slot underscore l underscore move okay so we are going to move these slots along this axis sorry It is this slot underscore l underscore move okay so we are going to move this along this axis click on preview i'll give as of now value as one you can see here now it will move one mm on that side okay click on okay once i do that slot then I'll, for showing i'll just tell you so by using subtract operation you can remove that now you can see here the beauty slot underscore i underscore move if i give here value as a three now you can see this slot will move on the top side see here now by this scenario you can optimize the resonance also okay if you are not getting the exact resonance corresponding to the paper you can optimize over here with yourself okay so yeah as of now we'll keep this value as 0.3 for my convenience because as of now we're learning the designing so yeah small portion is left out here also you can see if i zoom in as this value is not given but yeah we can identify there might be a small okay so yeah left hand side slot is done now we will do for right hand side slot okay slot underscore right okay what will be the w w it will be the length so l underscore slot underscore right hand side okay yeah width will be same w underscore slot l because width is same so we are not using any other variable click on okay so yeah it is 12 click on okay now yeah it is done now what we need that slot is somewhat upside right these are inclined we can rotate it later but let us consider this one so if you see a right hand slide slot it is somewhat upside right so what we can do now this time we have to select again this top point and we'll bring first over here and by parametric uh, variation oh, sorry, sorry 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 for this don't select this point if you select this it will going in outside select this outer point okay sorry for that for it select this outer point first then select this outer point in the second select this patch translate it now you can see it is going there right now don't give parameter click on okay let it stable over there and then from here give its parameter with some parameter sorry unknown value okay so here we'll give slot underscore r underscore move okay you can give any parameter and click on okay now here we can optimize the exact location okay as of now if i give five it will go somewhere here so as it is l8 uh, sorry i didn't the value of l8 it is somewhere 8.5 mm so yeah this is again i have optimized so i know the you can do by your own also so 8.5 if i give it will come somewhere here so you need to do the subtract operation select the patch first use minus operation from the boolean then press enter now you can see the slot has been created so yeah in it out till this point then you can message in the chat in youtube <laughs> so yes now feed uh, uh, as we know this element is getting same at all the four locations okay we'll rotate first then we'll try to see what we can do the best if you can see here we need to rotate at an angle of 45 degree or 350 okay 270 plus 45 degree or else if you are going this way it will be 45 degree okay but i'm going into reverse way it means 
if you can see a third quadrant, which is 270 plus 45 means 315. You got the point? Okay. Yeah. You can click on okay also. Or else if I go this way, one minute, I'll just try to. No. Okay. So yeah, 45 degree. Keep a copy of it. So copy. No, no, no. We want only single element, one element. Keep a copy, click on OK. okay. And again, rotate these. Okay. As we know, four elements are same. So first we'll design that. Then we'll rotate with the help of coaxial feed also. Okay. So yes, I'll delete this part. So we'll rotate these into 70 plus 15 degrees, 45 degree, that is 215 degree. Click on OK. Now you can see it has been created. Oh, yeah. Now if we know feed it somewhere over here. Okay. So yeah, before designing feed, we are, best way or easier way is we will design first ground plane. <coughs> okay. So yes, yeah, so rotate your substrate, see the back side of the substrate. So there, select, press A from the keyboard, select the back side, bring UW coordinates over there. Then we'll design a brick there, which we'll put as a ground, whose U axis will be minus g by 2 to g by 2. If you see in this paper, uh, the width and length is 7, that is 16 by 16. So I'll put the same element over here, minus g by 2. Okay. And here we have to go in minus hc. Why we have to go minus hc? Because our w is in reverse direction. We have to design patch in this direction, but w is going in this direction. So we have to do minus hc. Okay, so it will come in this direction. Click on preview. G is 16 mm. Okay, now you can see our ground is coming outside. If you give positive now, it will go inside the substrate. So that take care you can consider while designing where you are going to select UW coordinates. So click on okay. Oh yeah, it is done. Now we have to design this uh, pads. Okay, so these are something uh, strip, extra strip is there. WGL1 uh, parameters. So WG is 5 mm and uh, L1 is around 17 mm. Okay. So yeah. Now again, how to do that? Select this top point. Now I'm going to select this point, right? Top point. So for height, I need to give positive. Now you can see here. My W is going into the correct way. So correct in the way, correct in the sense. Whatever I'm going, I want thickness, it is along the positive axis of the W. So while designing here, I need to give plus HC. Okay. So U, U it will be minus G2, I will give a parameter by 2 to G2 by 2. Okay. Yeah, length will be 0 to LG2. Height will be HC, correct. Yeah. G2 is the width. Okay, that is 5 mm we have seen. And LG2, that is the length of this one, it is 17 mm. We have seen. Yeah, now you can see it is great. Yeah. Okay. So, why we went for ground? Because no need to do it for other three. We can rotate it. Or we can do it, select the center point of the patch, bring UW coordinates at the center of this one, select this, use the operation called Control T, that is tran rotate, translate. So here we have to select the rotate. You can see here, if I rotate here, it will come over here. That is the 90 degree. Keep a copy of it because we need this one also. And then just repeat the factor three. So when we are having two, this three plus one, four is done. Click on OK. So with a single go, we have designed this, all the uh, ground structures, OK? You can see here. Yeah, now we will design the feed. So for feed, uh, we'll select this point. 
which will be our topmost point. Whatever point you are selecting, that is very much important. Okay, you need to remember that which point I have selected. Now, first we will rotate that point. Okay. Why? Now we are designing feed. I'll tell you why we have to rotate. Because feed is not at this edge, right? It is somewhere inside. And that too, if you see reviewer, he, sorry, uh, author, he didn't give the uh, slot, sorry, feed location. So it means that we need to optimize the feed for the proper result. Okay. So once you give the UW coordinates, na, try to move it with the help of these. Try to move these. And always remember, uh, you need to move your U and V in same because to excite at the center is at 45 degree. So you need to move U and V on the same with the same value. Okay. So feed underscore move will be same over here also and this one also. Sorry. Okay. Because we need diagonal movement. Okay. So if I give point for you. You can see it is moved over here. So I don't want point five. You can see. Sorry. Is there any issue? So I'm repeating this one. I might made some mistakes. U and V only we need to do. Okay, sorry. I make a mistake of moving W. Okay, so W should not be there. So feed underscore move correct. Sorry for that. Uh, you need to make U and V, right? So you can see correctly it is moving in a diagonally, not in W axis. We need to move in U and V. <clears throat> so as it is 45 degree tilt, this patch, so your U axis and V axis needs to be same. Then an U axis, U and V value needs to be same. Then and then only it will move, feed will move along the center of the patch. So yeah, now we'll design this feed first. So for feed, this will be our inner underscore feed. This will be R underscore feed. That is the radius. And yeah, W, this is very much important for us. So W will start from zero. That is correct. How much down it will go? That will be minus height of the conductor, minus height of the substrate, minus height of the conductor, minus 3 mm. Okay, 3 mm will be means it will go outside of this patch 3 mm. Okay, this is nominally a semiconductor dimension. 3 mm, 5 mm, you can consider that range can vary. So, yeah, as of now, what I will consider 3. Click on preview, he will ask you the radius value, which is I'll give it's a 0 0.45. Yeah, click on OK. I can see a cylinder has been designed. I will just cross check the die of it. Yeah, perfect. Now this is done. Now we need to uh, design the PTF here, right? Now you can see it is coming 3 mm outside. Now we have to design that Teflon. So for Teflon, PTFE, radius will be R underscore PTFE. Yeah, center point will not be from there, right? If you remember the SMA connector, it will go down. It should start from somewhere here. Okay, end of the substrate. So, so it will start from minus height of the conductor, minus height of the substrate. Okay. It will start from this point. Okay. Of the ground or end of the substrate. So from that edge to down, it will go. How much down it will go? It will go down till height of the conductor minus 3 mm. Click on preview. Uh, yeah. Radius of the PTFA will be 2.27 by 2. Yeah. Now you can see here. It has been done. Only thing you have to do is you have to change the material, load it go from here. Teflon is the material, but in CST it is given PTFE. Okay, same dielectric constant you can cross check here 2.1. Load, click on OK. Yes. Now it is done. Now we have to make a ground for our port. So just extrude this. Give the value as HC. Change material to PC, click on OK. Yeah, first thing is done. Now we'll go, we'll do one more thing. We'll excite this one also. So while rotation, we no need to go again. So for excitation, select this face. Go to the simulation, just give the waveguide port. Okay, now you can see here, it is done. 
yeah one more thing left out is that is uh, each out uh, uh, we need that inner cylinder needs to be subtracted from the ground right so that will be r underscore ptf is same and it will starts from minus height of the conductor minus height of the substrate till how much depth it will go again minus height of the conductor click on preview you can see here it is coming okay click on okay so this solid 3 is nothing but the separation from inner cylinder that is the conductor inner conductor of the feed to the ground so what you have to do you have to subtract this ground boolean subtract solid 3 which is our this one now you can see here okay if you want to see properly i'll just hide this too so now you can see here our your inner feed sma connector feed is getting separated from the ground if you won't do that then your signal will not go to the patch it will move over here in the ground only okay so yeah now once this is done okay yeah uh, one mistake we did uh, uh we should not subtract right now because we have to rotate it right so yes uh, uh it'll go two steps back because we should not delete that because we are uh, going to design from single feed to all the four feet so i'll go back a position of boolean subtract only this operation only i'll delete from the history okay so if i delete that i'll just update the things okay so what i did is i didn't the solid 3 if you see here whatever i have deleted i have just came back two steps okay you can see that solid 3 is there so then after rotation we will delete that okay you got the point yeah so yes then now we'll just rotate this first we have to select this one bring uw coordinates there now what we have to move we have to move your our patch feed also we need we, we no need to move ground yes inner feed we need to move ptf fee also we need to move solid one no solid two one underscore one these all no need to move yeah solid two we need to move solid three yeah, these are all the things we need to rotate okay feed inner feed ptf that is teflon solid two and solid three solid two is consisting of this our uh, ground okay then what you have to do you have to just rotate it okay so how much degree of rotation it will be yeah 90 degree keep a copy of it second third one minute yeah, yeah. one more thing before that we'll just create a component new component there we'll put patch or else we'll put here component of feed okay feed two will give okay so what are the feed components are there we'll make it inside that so that will be easy for you to understand so yeah it will go in then we'll create one more thing of ground two i'm giving new name because ground is there so it won't take so i have given the name of ground so whatever ground is there we'll just move that all grounds inside this okay yeah feed is not this one so we need to take it out this feed is nothing but our we have uh, boolean add now so after boolean add the name of the feed is went for all the uh, patch so yeah this is substrate this is feed so yeah before that what we have to do is uh, uh, we need to translate this because if you rotate now it will be get connected with each other but we have seen here there is some separation okay the parameter is not given but there is some separation 
So I have calculated that that is 2 mm. So for that, you have to select the field and this field. Okay, this is coaxial field and this field is to the patch field. So yeah, you need to select this total patch and the field components. Okay, and we'll select the port also if it, it is not allowing us. So we'll delete the port, we'll give port again. So yes, what we have to do is now, we have to select the feed, which is your patch and the feed all components. Okay, feed to whatever is there. We have to select this is coaxial feed. And this feed is our patch. So we have to translate this. Okay, by 2 mm. At both because the degree is why we are moving. I told you here, right? It is not connected to each other. But when I rotate it from the center, all the four patch will get connected. That is we don't want. So yeah, 2 mm by 2 mm, you need to translate it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Now, now we can rotate it. So feed we can select ground only to select this feed we can select okay this is again feed component this is your patch now we can rotate properly now you can see it won't be getting yeah 90 degree yeah 90 degree keep a copy of it just repeating factor okay click on okay yeah cancel now you can see all the four patches has been designed now you can come to know that why I haven't deleted first that delete three parts. So ground needs to be subtracted because your feed should not be connected to your ground one, right? So this ground needs to be subtracted from this solids. Solid three, where is that solid three? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, this solid. Because this is your padding, you can say. Okay. I'll hide this so you will come to know properly. So you see here in the first case, currently your inner, uh, this probe is connected with the ground. You can see your ground is this and this is your inner cell. Both are connected, which is not <clears throat> uh, proper. Okay, so there should be some padding will be there. So for that case, what you have to do, you have to select this, use subtract operation, and subtract this delete part. Now you can see here, the now separation is there. So now it is the proper uh, signaling will be done. <clears throat> Same thing you have to do it for here also and here all the three location. So again, come here, you'll subtract operation. We know it is solid one underscore, three underscore one, three underscore two, three underscore three. Click on enter. Now see, I'll just show all so you can see proper. Yeah. Now our design is completed. Just excite these with the help of select the face, come to the simulation, give the view wide port. Click on OK. View guide port. Click on OK. Try to give in one X circular way in any one direction. Because when you see the radiation pattern and combined result and uh, uh, isolation between the individual ports, you will come to know properly from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 1. OK. So yeah, our design is done. We can save our model. Yeah. Meanwhile, we'll just see the frequency range, one to four gigahertz. Then we'll give simulation frequency from one to six, okay. Yeah, our radiation box has been created. Save it. Now we can start our simulation. So if you see here uh, for this model, I got some yes one one something like this. Where minus twenty five I have achieved. And this is a uh, interference from one to two, one to three, and one to four, which you can again can optimize this for a better result. And uh, yeah, radiation and all I haven't plotted it. 
yeah radiation is not plotted so yeah you can plot radiation pattern also how to plot you know right go to the far field select this far field and give this frequency uh, wherever you are getting resonance you can give that frequency and apply so yeah my simulation is going on so yeah thank you for watching yeah i know this is quite late for us but yeah you can see in previous videos the single element result okay then thank you